Hey guys, this is Introducing Emmy with another Redline Tuesday, and this time we're doing one by the Waffle Ninja, who has a DeviantArt.com account, so go there, check them out. Um, let me show you the full thing. Uh, well, there's most of it. Let me see if I can get out a little more. There we go. So, kind of a, um, a Valkyrie angel type drawing that is what we're going to be working on and they had some specific things that they wanted me to look at uh, that was uh, I'm just going to read you what they said they said the head I can't seem to make it look like she's looking up so we're going to be doing that um, the wings they're just kind of there the folds in the clothes they don't look right and the overall feel of it they want it more dramatic okay so that's what we're going to be doing uh, hey now. Oh, and um, you should be able to see my layers and my navigator over there because I figured. I don't know. I didn't really have anybody say they didn't like it, so I'm just assuming that it's it's okay to show that. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna make that a little lighter. Hope you guys can still see that. All right. Um, this isn't gonna be too bad. Um, so. I think to make it really dramatic, it needs everything needs to be a lot more symmetrical. Not necessarily like the arms which, and the hands, which are holding a sword, but just in general, things look more confrontational and dramatic when they're symmetrical. And I do lots of symmetrical drawings, so <laughs> I am the master of the symmetrical drawing. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the face, but we're only going to draw one side. We're going to mirror it, and then we're going to clean it up from there. So, okay, here we go. Um... So I'm not totally positive where the top of the head is, but I'm going to take a wild guess that it's somewhere over there. There's the side of the skull. And now the part that everybody has trouble on is the jaw. It's not too bad, though. It even takes me a little bit to sort of get my brain wrapped around how it's supposed to look, um, just because it's not a natural way for people to draw heads. So uh, the bottom of the jaw is kind of like a wobbly W. So like, let's find our center. Let's sign like how wide. That'll be our center. Okay. So once we mirror this over, it'll be like a W. Like a wobbly W. And then uh, from there, all the, the neck muscles connect. And uh, be careful of this. Because it looks like somebody just went, Harp! took a little bite out of that. Nom. So just make sure that you're not uh, getting rid of too much tissue. Okay, and then uh, she's got this, um, not a bandana, but like a, not a mask. I don't know where my brain is today, but she's got something over her eyes. So um, I'm just going to kind of show you where the eyes would be, and then you can decide what you want to do from there. So... So remember, the eye socket is not perfectly round. It's kind of like, if you're looking at it straight on and not at an angle, it's kind of like a rounded trapezoidal shape. It's sort of like that, and then the eyeball sits in there. So here's your brow line. And so the eyeball is in here. Okay. And then uh, from there, I'm going to do the nose. So the bridge of the nose would fall right below uh, the eye socket. So that's like where the crease is, like the little 
Boink, boink is right there. Okay. And then uh, the nose is actually not too hard, though this is kind of low. But the nose would be sitting a little higher. The nostril there. And uh, depending on how realistic you want to go with this nose, you can either choose to leave this section here, which is like that, that piece of tissue that kind of like wraps around wraps around the uh, nostril. Or if you want to go kind of like anime with it, or like more simplified or illustrated, just get rid of that and leave it kind of like this. And that will help keep it beauteous. And then the mouth. Would be uh, a little higher than this. Um, everything's going to feel a little higher. Because you're, you're looking at, you know, like an extremely foreshortened version of the human face and and also the ears um the ears are actually in the right location now um but before the eye was sitting more like down here like the bottom of the eye socket was here so the ears would be about there Um, and I'm going to finish this, but uh, like I said, there's like a, a scarf or something wrapped around her head, so she wouldn't even see this, or you wouldn't even see this. She wouldn't see anything. Uh -huh. Well, anyway, uh, you would draw, like if her eyes were closed, her lid, her eyelashes would be like this, and her eyebrow can be however you like. Okay, so there you have it. There's your face. Uh, I'm actually gonna screen this a little more, or lighten it, I mean. <clears throat> gonna get rid of this ref. Okay. So then all we're going to do is flip this, and I can already tell it might be a little too wide. Yeah. Not a problem though. So we're just going to select this and then I'm going to cheat. <laughs> this is why it's nice to work on the computer. So we're going to go to transform perspective and then we're just going to tighten the top of it a little superficially. Move it down a bit. I love you, Transform Tool. Just gonna push this down on, push your eyes down a little more. Um, So I'm just kind of curious. I want to see where I would put my normal tracks at. So 
So I'm thinking I hesitate to do this because I think I'm doing something weird to her here, but I'm gonna just see what it looks like. Um, see, edit, transform, perspective again. I'm kind of curious what narrowing her jaw would do. Not a lot. I think it looks better now, though. So, um,. Oh hell, I could probably narrow it even more. I'm getting a little I'm getting crazy with this. I'm getting too wild. That's okay. We're here to experiment and learn. There. Try that out for size. Um See what you think. You can always make things um narrower or not. One second. Sorry, I got Irma a new water bowl today, my snake, and I'm making sure that she is not drowning. <laughs> uh, so... I might even put a little bit of a hint of a line, like right here, um, just to show a shadow and like a, a bend in the neck, to show that this is like all part of the head. I, I don't know, that's just kind of a little... I don't know, I'm doodling. I'm trying to figure this out myself, so. Uh, let's see. So her shoulders are at contrapposto. Well, her shoulders are tilted. I think true contrapposto, her hips would have to be going with it. Now there was something in the email about boobs, so I don't know, I'm just gonna give her boobs. <laughs> So the breasted leans would be there. A little bit of lag. I'm not sure why I'm just getting so much lag when I record because it's it's honestly not that uh, memory intensive on my computer, but it still throws a little bit of a fit every time I do it. I'm not sure why. And the cyber body's melting. I should have. I hate when I do stuff like this where I don't. Uh, I don't move out enough and really look at the whole piece. I just start making decisions without looking at everything. That's a bad idea. Okay. Dokie. So, there we have the waist and the legs, which just kind of disappear, so I'll do that too. <laughs> there wouldn't really be a thigh gap here. You'd see butt cheeks and flesh, but I'm putting just a little bit of a triangle right there. Just as like a marker. Do do do. I need a bigger brush. Ah, we'll just leave it for now, it's fine. Okay. I 
thinking this just needs to be a little higher. Like it doesn't feel like it's like really wrapped onto the. There we go. Okie dokie. Now I'm going to make her slightly muscled and if you don't want her slightly muscled just smooth it out. But I think she's supposed to be slightly muscled, I don't know. Other arm. Hmm. Also, I apologize if you can hear my air conditioner. We've been having a little bit of a heat wave here in Southern California. I mean, when are we not? But, uh, <laughs> Yeah, so if you can hear my my air conditioning in the background, that is a thing that is happening. Though I, uh, you know, when I've had really loud noises happening in the background, like either construction's been going on in another apartment or whatever, you guys seem to not be able to hear that stuff. So I'm just assuming that you don't, and I'm not even gonna worry about it. Okay, so her torso is not right. <laughs> It just needs to be a teeny smaller and higher. And then I'm trying to think here how I can, because I, I don't like to like like see how far away like hurt the way I've drawn her hips are from the original. Like it doesn't doesn't line up. I don't like to be that far away. Also, um, I've noticed that I have been getting a lot of repeat submitters, which is fine. Like, it doesn't bother me at all. However, I am getting a lot of new folks, and I think what I'm going to do is starting next week, I am going to put, like, I'm going to organize the red lines by, like, who submitted before and who hasn't. And I'm going to take new submissions, like, new people as priority over um, people who have already submitted. Like, like, I know this one and I think the last one were both, it was either the last one or the one before, were both submitted by people who have already submitted before. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with that. I just feel like, um, you know, other folks have, have been, like, waiting a while to see theirs and I feel like a guilty cad <laughs> for not uh, dealing with theirs first. So... Yuppers! That's the thing that's happening starting next week. So, um, if you sent me one and I haven't gotten to it yet, and you're a repeat, um, that's probably why I haven't gotten to it yet. Because you already got a dip in the pot. 
But keep sending them in, because t don't worry, I get pretty close to the bottom of the barrel about every two months, it seems, so I'll always need stuff. Okay. I think two things are happening here. I think her head is too big, <laughs> the way that I drew it. And that, in turn, is making the rest of her look smaller, kind of disproportioned. So, guess what we're doing? Resizing. I think 95% of Redline Tuesdays are resizing. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? Okay, that's better. So now... And in case you need it, well actually I might need it when I do the fabric. I'm gonna draw where the Nippolinis would be. So they'd be right there. Okie dokie. And actually now that I've resized everything so much, here we go, contributing to my 95%. Let's make her fit back into the, the original a little more by making the whole thing a little bigger. Okay. Alrighty, so now we've got the basic anatomy done. Um, actually, depending on like how you'd want to do this, I'm not sure how far out her calves would stick. Uh, so much of this is going to be covered by the costume, but it's good to have an idea of where things be. Okay. Let's just draw our center line. Whew, I am lagging. This is a very, very big image, which I appreciate. In fact, what is the DPI at? 72. I'm going to go... 300 at 4800. That really didn't do anything, but it might help with the. I'm curious what the former file size was. It didn't really do anything. That's okay. <laughs> I was just curious. I was curious if any, like, swapping of the DPIs around a little bit might help. That's alright. Don't worry about it. Okay, so now we're going to do Wing Onatome. And I've done this in other videos, so I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet. But um, wings are pretty similar to human arms. So uh, the connecting point for this character's wings would be on the back. So this little mark I'm going to make is on the back. So it would probably be on the shoulder blades. Um, and then you would have, I'm trying to think of like human anatomy words. So like you would have the upper arm come out like right here. And then you would have your, your forearm. Okay. There's your wrist. And then you would have, um, your hand. It should be this part here. Okay? And then um, this is where things are going to get a little tricky for me because I don't draw wings a lot. Okay, so from the shoulder 
in quotes, <laughs> the shoulder area right here, you and up to the wrist, this is covered by uh, a set of feathers like this, okay? And this is called, I think it's called the marginal coverts or covets or something like that. I forget exactly. Just, you need to know there's like a sleeve. There's like a big baggy sleeve of feathers. Um, and they're kind of short and fat. Like that. Okay? So short and fat. They sort of like, look like little mittens. <laughs> Okay, and then from here, that's my dog drinking in the background, having a little slurp. You're not drinking out of the snake's bowl. Or, oh man, she looks so happy, my little snake. She's so happy. Okay, and then here, you've got a few little feathers that are called the alulas. Okay, these are the alulas, and they cover, uh, like the the little finger area. Basically the end of a bird's wing, like the hand part, is just like a few little finger bones like that are inside that little thing right there. If you've ever eaten like the chicken wing, you kind of know what I'm talking about. I've never eaten a chicken wing actually, so I don't know exactly, but <laughs> okay, anyway. So then from there we have, um, okay, so let me think here. So the big split on all the feather sets is at the wrist, okay? So like, um, so from here, like you're going to do another swoop. Okay, can do another swoop, and uh, this is called, um, well, it depends on like how big you want to get. A lot of times in cartoons and stuff, they'll just have the, the marginals and the secondaries, and that's it. They'll just have like the big long feathers and the little short feathers, and that's it. But uh, these are actually called, uh, if, if you want to have even more feathering, like if you want to go like real true Aneto maze, then you would have another set below these. I'm going to have to make my canvas bigger here. Actually, you would need to chop those a little closer right there. I'm not great at drawing wings. Like I said, I don't do them often. So you would have uh, the marginals, uh, the marginal coverts, the secondary coverts, so this is the secondaries, and then the, uh, or I mean, these are the secondaries, oh Jesus, I'm getting so confused now. These are the secondaries, These, this is the secondary coverts, and then these are the marginal coverts. Okay, you don't really need to know all this stuff, but... There you go. And I am going to make my canvas a little bigger because we're, we're getting excessive here. We're getting excessive. And then out here is where the... the pretty, like, long open feathers are. They, they extend from the... Uh, I'm being, I'm kind of exaggerating a little bit here, but they, they extend from the, the little finger area, so. And there is, like, another set of, um, secondary, or, yeah, the, the secondary, uh, coverts that go here, like that. And then you got the big long feathers here. And... Actually, I don't feel like I'm drawing. Yeah, you draw a line from your your kind of like little bird wing elbow and kind of 
bring all your all the tension for the feathers in like that. So let's let's do some erase in here. I'm not sure if that's like such a great tip or anatomically correct, but damn it, it looks better, doesn't it? I think it looks a little better when you have that guideline there. Okay. Come on. Come on, computer. There you go. Uh, and a little tip when you do feathers. I'll, I'll do them in a different color here. Oh, let's do like a pink purple. Okay, so when you do like a lot of feathers, just do one. And uh, I like to make them look a little bit like butter knives. They're kind of like straight on the top and then like curved. Curved along the bottom. And then just like take it over here. Put it there. Duplicate that layer. Move your, your hinge. Bam. And then just keep doing that over and over. Just duplicating the feathers. I am not a patient person. <laughs> I have shit to do all the time. So I, you know, if I can find any shortcut to do things, I do it. Do it. You should be a bad kid like me. Just cheat. Okay, so that's a little tip. And then just, you know, layer them like you would have your short feathers on top so you would see all this way up. Okay, so there you go. There are my pro tips for doing wings. Um, the feathers that are down here... On, on this part are a little more uh, squared. They're kind of like the rudder feathers. I don't even know if that's like a thing. Is that a thing? But they're a little more squared off. A little less pointed. You can choose, I guess, artistically, like how pointed to go and everything. And I'm sure I have some bird nut out there who's like freaking out on me right now. This is kind of what you're going for. Um, same thing here. These aren't quite as as square. They're a little more pointed. So, there you go. Bam. Wings. And then drama-wise, I would actually, now that I've drawn them, I'm thinking maybe... Maybe a little more like that. And maybe even a little more in, maybe. Oh, warp tool, you're just too good to me. <laughs> uh, okay, so now we're just gonna mirror it over because we're the coolest kids in town. Gonna find that center point. Make sure it's about the same distance on either side from that, from your center line. Okay, so get rid of some garbage in here. I'm actually going to get rid of the connecting point. Uh, watch the video if you need it for reference because it looks a little bit like really high nipples or something. I don't want that. Okay. So there you go. There are your wings. 
bam, let's duplicate that layer, and collapse it back down on itself, make it thicker. So now we're going to do the fabric, and yeah, then we'll be done. I might even do the sword. I think that's supposed to be a sword there. Yeah, it's probably supposed to be a sword. Okay. What's the color I haven't used? Do it in orange. Why not? Okay, so fabric. I I never know a good way to explain fabric, and it takes a lot of uh, just study, but uh, you can either think of it as like ropes or snakes. I've heard like people describe them as like maggots, but the or not maggots, uh, leeches, leeches, yes, as sort of like the, the wrinkles that envelop. So you're going to want to imagine these as like points that come down, and they're going to catch on things like her, her nipples, oh my gosh. We're talking about severe boobage up in here. But you're going to want to make sure that everything falls appropriately or else it just, it don't even look real. It don't even. Okay, and then I'm not totally sure what all is um, fabric here. Like, I think she has some kind of a, a wrap. Around her arms. Sorry, getting a little quiet there. It's just concentrating. Okay, so uh, there we go. There's some fabric at the top, and I'll I'll put a little bit of uh, white or something under there to sort of separate it. And then I think there's like there's maybe like a ribbon or something here. Again, I'm not sure like how taunt this is supposed to be, so I'm just kind of, uh, oh shoot, I thought this was like the inside of the leg. Sorry, it would actually be <laughs> more like, this? And then uh, down here, this looks all right. You could probably, you could probably do with it with not completely. Um, in the original, there's sort of like this collapse right there. You might want to not uh, do that. You might want to actually show like where this calf would be, like underneath uh, the underneath the fabric. So.
Okie dokie, so... There's that. And then she has like a cape. Let me get a little further out. Okay, so it hooks up here. Also, I wasn't positive if there was like a piece of armor here or something, like a shoulder pad. It, it almost looks like there is something there now that I'm looking at it a second time. Um, and also this piece of fabric extends a little higher. Okay. Uh, I have to admit that when I do like capes and stuff, I start to get a little too like over poetic with it where I'm just like whoosh and drawing these like big whooshy lines. There's kind of some of that going on there. So you're not alone in that. Um, so let's draw the outside edge here. Sort of like, um, like a stopper. Okay, so like this corner here, this is sort of like the no. No more goes past that, okay? So then what we do is we follow this line up. We're going to draw through the shape. We're going to go behind it. And I think that's kind of nice that it, like, um, hooks up and under. And probably the other side of the, the cape is going to connect, like, right in here. So just... Loosely kind of like drag your pen down without actually putting it down on your tablet uh, or your piece of paper or whatever. Just sort of like eyeball that. And just make sure that that kind of curves under like that. Let's get rid of some of this. Okay. And then same here. This is all tension up behind her shoulders on the back on her back where the the cave is connecting to whatever it's connecting to. It's all tensiony in there. So this is uh, we're gonna find the lowest, most taunt point of our fabric, and from there we're gonna kind of come on. Sorry, my computer's lagging, so my lines are looking really wiggly. Get rid of our no. No. Okay. Um, not liking this sleeve. Hold on. I'm going to crop this in. Alright. Um, you might even, you know, I'm, now that I'm thinking of it, you might even want to, uh, draw Just a little bit of the cape over here. Uh, just showing the, uh, you can see how jagged my lines are getting now. The lag's getting pretty bad. <laughs> Why? Anyway, uh, <laughs> you might want to just uh, draw sort of just a little bit more of like an edge over here, like compositional compositionally to kind of show just a little bit more of the cape like where it's blowing and being pretty and sparkly and everything okay uh, and then we'll, I'm gonna do the sword real quick just for my own satisfaction I'm also gonna draw while I'm thinking of it I'm gonna draw the uh, blindfold oh my gosh I'm amazing <laughs> 45 minutes into this video and I finally get blindfold
So I'm just going to put a little bit of white here so that uh, it's a little clear what what's going on. But not right here. Not right here. This should go away. Thank you for being patient with my silence while I think. <laughs> if you've ever tried to draw and talk at the same time, you know what it's like. Okay. Um, oh yeah, and I wanted to do the sword. Just kids. I would have the uh, sword, however you end up finishing it, um, extend past the hips because I originally thought it was a bikini. <laughs> Which isn't necessarily a problem, it's just it could be confusing, or it might send the wrong message to the viewer, or something like that. So, good thing to be aware of. I love you, Perspective 2. So, there's your sword. Uh, the hands are just slightly off-center, so the sword would be slightly off-center. Um, there's different ways to fix that. Uh, Though I don't think it takes away from the piece or anything like that. The sword's a little, it's a little cartoony. <laughs> You'd have to do something with that. But um, overall, that is the piece, and I think we're done. I think I've said <gasps> my piece. Oh, okay. So let me uh, real quick put everything. So might let me put all this in a folder, and we will flip back and forth and do a comparison. So here we go. Boop, 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 boop. My computer's like, no, we're not doing this. So, yeah. Good stuff. Hey, you could probably fit like six more wings right in there. You have some extra room for wingage. Okay, so let's thank the Waffle Ninja again, who has a DeviantArt. Go check it out. And uh, that'll be it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.